I'm out in beautiful Bastrop, Texas, which is a town east of the Austin area at a beautiful horse ranch called Restoration Ranch. This ranch is very special because it focuses on equine therapy or learning. And the therapy isn't just for the veterans who are able to come out here and relate to these horses free of charge. It also relates to the horses who have had an abusive background. Joining me is the founder and president of Restoration Ranch. This is Beth Rand. Beth, this is <laughs> heaven out here. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is. Thank you. What started this place was a lifelong love for horses. The great feeling that you get when you're out in the country and you're working with horses. So for me, it's been like my own peace of mind my whole life. The horses come from abusive, neglect backgrounds. They've either been uh, abused in a, with an owner or they've been used up as a, as a kid's school horse or something like that. And then when they have an injury, they end up in a slaughterhouse, basically. Well, how do you nurse them back into liking humans again? You do a lot of petting. You do a lot of, of just close contact work to make them trust, to get them to the point where they trust you, you know, because they know that, of course, they're relying on you. So the focus isn't necessarily on riding the horses. The, the focus is on building meaningful relationships. It's a way of settling and anchoring yourself and your own emotions to the point where a prey animal, an animal that is instinctively wired to be aware of their situation and know what's dangerous and what's friendly, make them want to be with you and be in a relationship with you. So it's really a very special thing that you can build if you're willing to put in the time. With horses and with you know our busy lives, it's really about that time. Coming up, Restoration Ranch has a big problem, making the horses like humans again after being neglected and abused. Learn how they do it. Stay tuned. I actually uh, had just left active military service in the Army in August of 2013, and it was a very stressful, very uh, tough time because I was transitioning off of active service and learning how to be a civilian again, and then also in a very high pressure job. And in a very chance deal, I got home late one night and turned on the TV and there was a news station doing a story about this organization called Veterans Equine Therapy Services. Shortly thereafter, I was a participant for a short time and then got heavily involved and then later on became the executive director of the organization. Well, a lot of the horses that we had were either rescues or had been seized because they had been malnourished or starved or had been abused. And so we really had to have them in a rehab program that we really made sure that the horse was right mentally and physically before we put them in with veterans because it wouldn't be fair to the horse if they weren't ready to be exposed and have to deal with things that they're dealing with. And so through that process, we were really able to work with the horses. And because a lot of these horses have dealt with some type of neglect or having a sense of abandonment or not having a sense of purpose because they were retired prematurely and sold or whatever it may have been, they really can connect and identify with what the veteran's going through. First off is that the number one concern for a horse is feeling safe. They, they want that more than anything else. So what I typically do is in that rehab process, find out what's going on with them where they can actually feel like they have the ability to let me know what's going on with them. And that process, then we start working with them one-on-one -on -one to see where they're at. Because the horse will meet you where you're at as well. So when I'm working with the veterans, what I want there to be is more than just a cathartic connection where the, you know, the veteran puts their hand on that horse or they feel this connection. What I want it to be is the horse then takes on that role of being in a passive role where they may just be there for that veteran. Or on the other end of it, it may be that the horse takes a more active role because we're in the round pen or the arena. That horse is very, their energy is high, they're trotting around, something's not right. And that, if that veteran really wants to connect to that horse, they may have to deal with something that they've got going on inside that the horse is keying off of because they very are good at mirroring our soul, so to speak. Coming up, meet a combat veteran who says Restoration Ranch gives him hope and a way to ride his horse very soon. His inspiring story. Stay tuned. I joined the military as a 
medic with the infantry unit. Did a deployment in 2009, 2010. When I was in Afghanistan, I got hit by an IED in April of 2010, which ended up leading to me being retired out of the military. So coming back, I, uh, I was not doing good. So it was, it was a real difficult time. About that point is when I kind of started getting back into horses again. Found a therapeutic riding program for veterans in Washington State up until I broke my neck in a car accident in January of 2017, at which point I ended up having to get rid of my own horses and uh, made the decision to move down to Texas because this is where my mom was at so I could kind of get the help I needed and found this program here and I've been here for about two years now and working with the horses again, trying to, you know, get, get back into it. To me, it's very relaxing. It, you know, kind of helps me focus my energy on something else versus just thinking about all the things I can't do anymore. I've been around horses for most of my life and horses are what really kind of helped me with my PTSD and that a lot. And so having to get rid of mine was, was devastating and being able to work with them again has been really helpful in, in dealing with this injury as well. So if I'm anxious, I'm nervous, I'm scared, the horse is gonna show some kind of anxiousness or some type of a fear symptom. You know, if, if I'm angry, that horse might, you know, be, be acted out and, and just not, norm, not calm, not relaxed. So I have to learn how to keep myself calm and kind of deal with my feelings as well. So I think, you know, for me, Restoration Ranch is a, is a great program and, you know, I hope more veterans choose to get involved and, you know, it's not always just about the riding. A lot of it's more just getting to work with the horses. Even more than that, just making a connection with other veterans. You know, coming to something like this, you learn that, hey, it's okay. It's, I'm not the only one going through these things. There's other people dealing with it. Um, just getting to work with the horses and learn, hey, you know, I'm, I'm scared of them, I'm terrified, but even that, they they do really good and, you know, it's, it's amazing what they can do for us as veterans.